Berkshire is not going to out Bezos, Jeff Bezos. That is for sure. What, what did you mean by that? What were you talking about? Well, I mean that there's certain people that you you do not want to try and beat at their own game, and certainly Jeff Bezos would be number one. I mean, that'd be like me playing chess with Bobby Fischer, you know, 40 years ago to be all, all over on the first move. Uh, Jeff, you know, he's just shown amazing talent in figuring out how to please customers and, uh, and, and in a very short time. And what's interesting to some extent about him, the same thing's interesting about Fred Smith of Federal Express. It isn't that they've had some breakthrough and, you know, found some molecule, <laughs> this or that, or, or come up with some, you know, incredible invention. They've taken fairly ordinary things. I mean, starting buying books and, and you know, but Fred Smith took the airplane and the, the delivery truck and the postal service but then they just put it together in a very imaginative way, you know, with a central hub and all that, and, and came up with a whole new industry out of components that were known to everybody. And in, in a sense, Bezos has done the same thing. Now he's building big distribution centers and employing the latest technology. But the Kindle came out of there, and there's some products. But overwhelmingly, he's taken things that you and I were buying before, and he's figured out a way to make us happier buying those products, either by fast delivery or prices or whatever it may be. And that's remarkable when you think about it. I mean, a lot of that comes down to just focusing on what the customer wants. He, that's all he thinks about is, is he, he wants the customer to have a smile on their face. And, and, and now that's been true of other retailers. I mean, that is not something that R.H. Macy didn't think or Marshall Field or Bernard Gimble or all these people, but he knew how to do it, you know, in 1997 in a way that Nobody else had come up with it. I'm sure his ideas even evolved as he was doing it. But he laid out his objectives in his first annual report. And you could just read them. I mean, his competitors could read them. And he has changed the world in a big way. When you talk about his game, I mean, it's, it's harder and harder to really identify what his game is. It's retailing. It's online retailing. But so much of Amazon's huge profits from the last uh, go-around came from AWS, from the cloud. And that's incredible because yeah. he, he developed that over a six- or seven-year period, and everybody else sat and watched. And, I mean, here was a guy that was a business genius, and he's coming out with something big, and the world... His competitors, to a large extent, just sort of ignored him. I mean, they gave him a lead time, uh, which was very, very dramatic. I actually uh, sat next to him at a, at, uh, a birthday party for someone, and, and uh, he told me how surprised he was that, that he didn't get more reaction quicker. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.